Hi everyone, it's Beck here and I have a tutorial for you for the Swirly Do's Kit Club. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super duper easy watercolour card. So all you need to do to make this is you need a um, just a plain white card and then a piece of card stock to go on the front. This is the bit that we're going to colour. I've used three sprays. I've used the Lindy sprays in Drop Dead Gorgeous Green, Bonjour Butter, and Pop Rock Purple. Also the other things that you'll need to make this card is a small doily, a little bit of cheesecloth, have a few flowers, a couple of white leaves, some little chipboard flowers. These ones came in the um, the last kit, so the April kit, um, the little Kayser Craft ones, and I've just coloured those with um, gelato. The colour is banana. And also I just have a piece of Prima um, wood icon that has come in a previous kit. Okay, so let's get started. What you want to do is you want to take your sprays and just spray them onto your mat. Okay, and so once you have enough colour on there, you just want to add some water. Okay, and then you just want to take your piece of cardstock and you just want to just put it in there and kind of swoosh it around a little bit. And then lift it off. If you have any gaps, just give them some extra colour. And then dry this off with the heat gun. Okay, once that is dry, you just want to take a couple of little leaves and um, I'm just going to colour those green. And then just dry that off with a paper towel and they are good to go. Okay, to start the card you need to cut a little bit of cheesecloth. Um, kind of a random piece and then just spray the edges on that And then just stick that down onto your your card. Next we're going to take the doily and again just stick that on kind of just to one side just kind of going off the side there. Next you want to take your wood icon And glue that on there and then you just want to start arranging your flowers however you would like them
Okay, with the leaves, just to make your leaves go a bit further, I always cut mine in half. Usually you have half sticking under anyway, so you might as well use up what you can. And then just tuck these in here. Just using a little bit of glue that's excess there. Next I have some of these little flowers, I'm just going to kind of pop them in wherever I see a gap. There we go, and then finally I just have one of these little Tim Holtz gems that came in the last kit as well. And there we go, that's all done. Really easy, all you need to do now is stick it onto your card and you're all finished. Thank you for watching. Make sure to head to theswillydoos.com if you'd like to purchase your own kit to arrive to your door every month. And be sure to um, visit us on our forums and on our Facebook page. Bye.